Imagine you got your first thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours submitted the channel for monetization, but got rejected. In this video, you'll find out what to do with your content to finally get monetized. Let's dive right into it. Watch closely, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's begin. Neural networks and artificial intelligence, everyone's so hyped about them, claiming that they will create content for you. But all of them forget that YouTube doesn't monetize automatically generated content. All that AI can do for your channel, for you, is idea brainstorming and script writing. We already did a video about using ChatGPT in content creation. Long story short, it almost doesn't. It's not good at creative tasks, simply because it doesn't think the way we think. Such apps are tailored to certain jobs and they can step out of the given instructions. So even if you are the god of prompts, you still won't be able to create a really good script or even a video idea. All that AI like ChatGPT can do for you is light SEO optimization and composing a description. Automatically generated content, AI generated audio and imagery is exactly what falls into the non-monetizable category. There is a chance to monetize such content but it's very slim. And even after getting monetized, such content doesn't exist for too long. So if you're using computer-generated audio or video, don't forget that YouTube prohibits such content for now at least. If anything changes, I'll keep you posted. Another category of content that is hard or impossible to monetize is compilations. What if you would simply stitch together pieces of videos, combine a bunch of small videos into one? No, you won't get monetized. Even if you won't violate the copyright rules of YouTube. That's a really popular misconception among people. They use only a couple of seconds of someone's content, fearing receiving a copyright claim. The five second rule doesn't work, guys. Even if there is no copyright claims on your videos, they can still be denied for monetization. You can avoid copyright claims, but if your videos have no additional input from you, don't expect getting monetized anytime soon. The least you can do is add voiceover. This way you will get that extra twist of creativity that will help you make your content feel like something new. But that still doesn't guarantee getting monetized. You also can't monetize the content that consists of creative Commons pieces. You can create unique content off of that and be free from copyright claims. However, you can't just loop the video from Creative Commons, add ambient music from Epidemic Sound and call it a day. That won't get monetized. You need to do something new, something extra, something else, but how to do that something else? I have a very simple example for you, RYTP videos. Such videos consist entirely of someone else's content that has been reworked and twisted so much that it becomes something new. Creators take content and fit it through their prism of creativity and madness. The content in the end looks totally different from the source material, which is great for YouTube. RYTP videos about Wednesday series are absolutely separate, independent pieces of creativity with their own story, idea, and mood. It may be very strange mood and humor, but nevertheless, it's something new. So keep in mind that even if your content entirely consists of someone else's content, humor and madness can become helping hands and that extra twist. These things can get you monetized. It could be funny audio effects or explosion effects or anything your heart desires. And let's not forget about voiceovers too. The next content you won't monetize is gameplay without commentary. Playing games alone is not enough. So no matter what other experts tell you, but what can you do to monetize you playing games? There are few options. First, add in a challenge, a context. If you make videos like noob versus skilled versus pro, such videos will get monetized. If you shoot a video of yourself doing something while playing, that will get monetized also. Remember, gameplay alone won't cut it. To make monetizable content, you really don't have to work that hard. At least you don't have to put countless hours into editing. 99.9% .9 of the time, you will be just fine with a simple yet friendly app like Movavi Video Editor, which is a part of Movavi Unlimited package. This all-in-one software provides everything you need to take your content to the next level. If you're struggling with 
large unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. It makes it effortless to convert your footage into more manageable format and even enhances its quality up to eight times. With its intuitive timeline, editing your videos has never been simpler. Add, remove, or rearrange clips with ease, adjust their duration, trim, or split them. And with multiple tracks, layering elements like background music, sound effects, and voiceovers has never been simpler. Movavi Unlimited offers a broad range of effects and video editing tools that enable you to create professional looking videos that stand out on YouTube. You can add audio and text to your videos and create animations with keyframe animation. But that's not all. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor. You can create stunning video thumbnails by cropping, resizing, applying filters, and adding text, stickers, and frames to images. Say goodbye to struggles and frustrations and hello to effortless and impressive video editing with Movavi Unlimited. Now, get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Oh, next, repeated content. That's a really tricky thing, even the big channels do wrong sometimes. Imagine this, you've created a ton of content, dozens of videos, and you decided to reuse your content. What could go wrong? everything. This is a very viable reason to get your channel demonetized. Don't re-upload your videos. If you want to have another go, delete your old video and only after that re-upload it. If you've used one piece of content once, you can't use it again. Don't re-upload without deleting and don't make compilations of your own content. But you can use your own content if you're creating something new. For example, we shot a ton of B-rolls for one of our channels and we're using them for various videos. This is not a violation of rules because in each video, the idea is different, the mood is different, and the goal is different. If we took our old video and re-uploaded it with a few small adjustments and rearrangement of blocks, this would have been a reused content. If you are reusing your content, at least wrap it into a new wrapper. Make it at least look new. You have to create something each time. If you're talking to the camera or showing your face, shoot new A-rolls. This way you would build a better connection to your audience and develop a personal brand, and personal brand leads to better partnership deals, selling custom products, etc. Remember about that. Make something new out of your content. Make it fresh. Sure, you might be working with similar content as other creators, but adding your personal vision and perspective can really make your videos stand out. Think outside the box and don't be afraid to take risks. Create funny videos, create RYTPs, add humor and personal flair. Just go crazy. That's what YouTube wants. Don't try to monetize lazy content that won't work. Be unique, do something new, be new. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it was useful to you, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one.